Oh, hey. Did you see me? Of course not, because I am a master of disguise. But there are animals out there whose camouflage is even more convincing. To find out what we can learn from these creatures, today we're talking to research biologist Kendra Buresh. Deep below the surface of the ocean, there are creatures with incredible powers. Masters of camouflage able to instantly change their color and even their texture. With brains and nervous systems unlike anything on land, these creatures are the cephalopods. To find out more about these amazing animals, I've come to the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts to meet research scientist Kendra Buresh. I always knew that I wanted to work with animals. Um, we used to go and visit my aunt in DC all the time and she would take us to the zoo and the natural history museum. And those are probably my fondest memories of being a kid. And I always wanted to study animal behavior and this lab studies behavior with some really cool animals. Today, I'm visiting Kendra's lab to see some of the experiments she's designed to unlock the mysteries of how cephalopods perceive their environment. Like this aquatic arena, where Kendra and her team study the incredible camouflage powers of the cuttlefish by exposing them to different natural and unnatural patterns. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a cuttlefish before. They really look kind of elegant, don't they? It has this fin that goes all the way around the outside of its body. They can hover that way with their fin, they can swim that way. They also can squirt water through their siphon and jet backwards. They have eight arms and then they have two tentacles. It can change the color of its skin and it can also change the texture of its skin. So she could make herself look really smooth or she could make herself look really bumpy. What we're gonna do now is sort of do an example of what might happen if we put her on a different pattern type. Oh, wow, look at her go. Oh my gosh. She's, she immediately changed color. Whoa. It's an instinct, really. She's just trying to hide. So if I'm a cuttlefish, I'm pretty tasty and everything in the ocean wants to eat me, I better camouflage myself pretty quickly, like that. She's putting on a pattern that we call a disruptive body pattern, which isn't necessarily always used to blend into their background. It can be used to um, break up their body outline so that they just don't look like something to eat. Kendra also studies the perception of other cephalopods, like Joey the octopus, who lives in this cute little teapot and can touch and taste with her arms. Octopuses are super curious. They explore their environment with their arms and they're tasting and touching everything and kind of trying to figure out what everything is. Oh, she changed colors right there. Yeah, so she can do wow. the same thing that the cuddles can do. Whoa, look at Whoa. that pattern. That is a really cool <laughs> pattern. They have like 150 to 250 suckers on each arm. They have over 500 million neurons. Two thirds of them are in their arms. They actually have a ring of neurons that goes around to their whole crown of arms. So there's a ganglia associated, which is like a fancy way of saying a nerve at the top of each one of their arms. Those arms can actually communicate with each other without going to the central brain. Arm one out here knows what arm three is doing back here. Oh, so they can multitask and do eight different things at the same time. But they can also do more than one thing with one arm at the same time. It's pretty impressive. Thanks so much, Kendra, for teaching me all about cephalopods. They really are the superheroes of the sea. They are pretty amazing animals. Bye, Joey. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.